and my name is Steve England and I've come here to Stoke Park in Bristol. I've spent my whole life in this park and over the years I have found some fascinating species of fungus and there are some of them of incredible uses. In this video I'm going to share with you some of those uses. Have a look at this. Oh wow have a look at these. I have been looking everywhere for these. These are incredible fungus. You find these in the open grasslands. And these are called the shaggy ink cap fungus. But they've also got another name to them, which is called the lawyer's wig. They have got an incredible use. I'll show you. Never leave home without your homemade chopping board. Okay, so what I've done is, you can see why it looks like a lawyer's wig, can't you? But, if I cut this one open, like so, you can actually see inside. Can you see? Can you still see the gills there? And what they're actually doing is they're rotting down into an ink. It's a process called liquefaction. And the reason why they do it is how they spread their spores. However, this fungus is edible. Highly, th I've eaten it, and I've eaten it a few times. And to be honest with you, I don't like it. It's like eating a warm slug, to be honest. However, I am going to collect some of these, because what we're going to do later on is they've got a great use. I'm not going to tell you what it is now. I'm going to collect some, I'm going to put some in a bag, so just wait there. Look at that! Classic example of what I was saying just a minute ago. Can you see them rotting down? And that's how they release their spores. And that's how they get their name of ink cap fungus because the caps literally rot down to an ink. But they've got a great use. And these, the use of these fungus go back hundreds, if not thousands of years. So all I'm going to do now is put them in a bag. I don't want the stems, what I'm after are the caps. Okay, I've got my ink in the bag. You remember the shaggy ink cap fungus? I came into the woods now to have a look. Now, let's have a look at their uses. What I'm going to do is first of all, I've got this little pot. A pair of scissors. And you see, I've collected the fungus and they've rotted down into this black fluid. And what I'm going to do is just cut them. Whoa! I'm just going to get it all out and let it drip into this bag. Just there. Look at that. And there you go. Have a look at that. You see this black fluid? You see? And it's just as well that you can't smell it because believe me, it does smell. But okay. So, one of the great uses of this fungus, as I said earlier, is this. Walking around the park, down at the lake, earlier in the year, I've been collecting some feathers. And these are the wing flight feathers of the geese, Canadian geese. So what I'm going to do is cut one open. Have a look. So I've just put an angular cut on the feather, like that. Can you see? Like so. And then what I'm going to do is put it onto my board. And then I'm going to take my trusty knife and then I'm just going to put a little slit in the end like so. You see and that's all I've done there. Now what I need to do now is I've been around the woods and I've collected some moss and the reason why I've got the moss is to act as an absorber. So I'm just going to put the moss there and then I'm just going to push it inside with this stick like so. I don't want too much, just a little bit. There you go. A little bit more. I'm just going to stick it inside this feather. There you go. And then I'm just going to trim off the ends with a pair of scissors. And there you go. Like so. So, can you see what I've done? You see? Ok, 
Okay, well, here's what it's actually used for. Here's my ink, here's my pen. Will it work? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the pen in there for a couple of seconds and let the moss absorb all the ink, like so. Can you see? Now, the question is, does it work? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Well, yay. And there you go. Check this out then. And this are the uses of the shaggy ink cap fungus. And this particular fungus has been used for hundreds of years for producing ink. And um, we've got records that certainly during the medieval periods, these fungus were used for deriving their ink from. The fascinating use of fungus. Well, I've got the fungus and I've brought it out here into the light so you can see. this is the beefsteak fungus, also known as the ox tongue fungus. And I guess it's called the ox tongue fungus. Well, I guess it must resemble something that looks like an ox's tongue. I've never seen one, but I guess it's fake. Beefsteak fungus, a lot of people ask me, why is it called a beefsteak fungus? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna get something out of my bag. Okay, I'm gonna set up my kitchen now. Get that out of the way. Can you see on the back of it, it's oozing out a red juice? You see, I'm gonna cut into it so you can have a look. Whoa, check that out, look at that. Now, watch this. I'm just gonna slice it up for you in my kitchen. When sliced, they look like sirloin steaks, and that's how they get their name of the beef steak fungus. They are edible, and as I said earlier, if they were growing on a poisonous yew tree, I wouldn't eat them. But I know these have come from an oak tree. They are edible, so let's try one and find out. Very bitter. I don't taste nothing like steak. The reason why is because they've absorbed all the tannins from the tree. And what tannins are, the tree uses them as a preserver of wood. It stops the wood from rotting. And as fungus absorb all its uh, water from its host, they absorb tannins too. And I'm eating tannins. There is a way that you can actually get rid of the tannins. And that's by soaking this in milk for about 12 hours. And that'll help take the tannins out. And you can shallow fry these, you can eat them raw as I just have, and you can bake them and all sorts of things. But be mindful, if they're growing on a yew tree, leave them alone, you will get ill. So it's really important that to get to know your trees as well. We said earlier that fungus have a use, and this is the King Alfred's cake fungus that we looked at earlier. And one of the great uses, especially in bushcraft skills, is fire. Watch this. I'm simply putting a spark into the dead fungus. So I'm just going to blow it, and can you see this? It glows as hot as a coal. And then what I'm going to do is I've collected some wild clematis bark, some very dry clematis bark. And let's see if we can get a fire going. <clears throat> So, my kindling goes on top of the fungus, like so, and blow. You see the smoke?
Whoa. there you have fire. One of the great uses of fungus. Not only do they kill trees, but they can get you out of the mire in times of hardship on a cold winter's day. And you love pathogens. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. You too can get the chance to explore your local land, whether it's the woods or out in the fields, on UK Fungus Day, October the 13th. Thanks for watching.